Good morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. Luke, we have an example of people so busy criticizing what others are doing that they are totally unaware of the emptiness in their own lives. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. She was badly stooped. Spiritually speaking, is that not also our problem too? So many of us are bowed down with the burdens and worries of our lives. In fact, nearly all the healings done by Jesus can be seen as symbolic of deeper afflictions from which all of us can suffer at the same time. Deafness. We can't hear God speaking to us. Or blindness. We cannot see the truth or understand the word of Jesus in the gospel. Dumbness. We can't or won't proclaim our faith. Paralysis and other crippling afflictions. We are not able to do the things we ought to be doing. Or leprosy. We are cut off from relating with others or we cut other people off. We're possessed by evil spirits. We may be in the grip of various compulsions and addictions. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. The leader of the synagogue became indignant and told those present, There are six working days on which to be cured. The Sabbath is not one of them. At that, Jesus called him out. The leader of the synagogue was not a priest. He was responsible for conducting services, inviting people, to read the scriptures and preach, and in general of maintaining order. He was a layman who also had administrative duties such as taking care of the building. Jesus accused the synagogue head and his ilk of pure hypocrisy. There was not one of them who would hesitate to take their ox or donkey from its stall on a Sabbath day in order to give it water. What could be more appropriate than to liberate this poor woman from the slavery of her affliction on the Sabbath? All the synagogue head could see was the letter of the law. He could not marvel at the healing power of Jesus and the deep compassion behind it. He could not see that he was in the presence of God's very power. This story is an example of taking the beam out of our own eye before dealing with the speck in someone else's or of none being so blind as those who refuse to see. In the end, we are told that Jesus' adversaries were humiliated, while the ordinary people, often with far more insight than their religious leaders, joyfully marveled at what Jesus was doing. This is certainly something for us to ponder today. Amen.